Prince William and Princess Catherine? Lazy? That's the word that's being thrown around now that the number of engagements that Prince and Princess of Wales did in 2023 are out. The late Princess Diana was criticized for a lot, even simply for wearing black. Her elder son is also facing scrutiny and being compared to her negatively. William, Prince of Wales, and Catherine, Princess of Wales, have been called lazy for only doing 172 and 123 royal engagements in 2023, respectively. In an interview with GB News, royal expert Gareth Russell talked about the criticism of the couple and how Diana factors into it. This is where you very much see that William is Diana's son. He explained that even though people consider William to be more like his father, King Charles III, William and Diana did have a strong bond. Russell does not think people's opinions of William and Kate will bother them too much. However, he added, the danger for them is that even though this is almost certainly motivated by prioritizing their home life, it has enabled their critics to paint them as lazy. The royal expert added that such negative press may stick. Russell also said that William and Kate, quote, were very much expected to be the star players and to be the star attraction for positive publicity for the royal family. Not attending as many events could backfire because, he added, if they're not seen as often, there is a risk that they enable their critics to write the story for them. The number of events that William and Catherine attended was much lower than some other royals. The Telegraph reports that King Charles was at 425 events in 2023. His sister, Princess Anne, lapped everyone with 457, the New York Post notes. In the summer of 2023, before the end-of-year calculation of royal events, people were already talking about how William and Kate weren't doing enough. The Prince and Princess of Wales put their kids, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, first over the summer and took time off from royal events. Royal expert Richard Palmer discussed that choice with OK Magazine, saying, They're very popular, they're a huge asset to the UK, but there have been eyebrows raised in other parts of the royal household about the amount of time they're not doing official engagements. He speculated that William and Kate might start feeling pressured to do more and also said how people may criticize them for taking so much time off work, since most parents are unable to do the same. Palmer added, The Princess of Wales has made it clear that her children will remain her priority for the foreseeable future. And when you hear William and Harry talking about their childhood and how their father was always at his desk or away somewhere, you can perhaps understand why that is a priority. Despite some criticism, Princess Diana was revered and her death shook the world. A deeper focus on family wasn't the only change that Diana brought to the royal family. A People article published for the 25th anniversary of Diana's death discussed how Queen Elizabeth II softened a bit after Diana's passing. Not only did she show some emotion in her speech following Diana's death, but the Queen also participated in sketches for the London Olympics in 2012 and for her Platinum Jubilee. Tea? Oh, yes, please. <gasps> Ed Perkins, who directed the documentary The Princess for HBO, told the magazine, Who knows whether an event like that could have happened without someone like Diana coming in? Another anniversary article from the Associated Press talked more about Diana's effect on the royals. Historian Ed Owens remarked, I think we need to remind ourselves that Diana was probably the best-known woman in the English-speaking world, aside from perhaps Queen Elizabeth II herself. Historian Sally Bedell Smith, author of Diana in Search of Herself, told the AP that people's reactions to Diana's death are what evolved the royal family with Queen Elizabeth seeming to try and follow in her footsteps. She said, The Queen was more likely to interact with people, and I think you see the informality magnified now, particularly with William and Kate. 